Hello and <clears throat> welcome back, my fellow mages and mystics. And on this snowy winter's day, we have a horse poking his head in here. And I have a Arabian stallion pinned there. This one is like a paint. That's why I wanted that one. Uh, yeah, we have a fish. Okay, well. And it's almost rotten, so I said, so we're going to just toss that back in there. Today, what I wanted to work on is up in the left, top left-hand corner, you can see it's middle of February, which means next month is in-game, is March. Currently in real life, it's April, where I am at the moment. So, you can see we have something started out here. So, March is in game. I think is about the time we should start um, thinking about, honestly, thinking about farming. So I have some bricks made up. Which means it is time to start thinking about farming. And I want to get a jump on that. I made this vessel. I had to make these, bake them, put them with a piece of fat. So I have a bit of a design. <clears throat> I want to try to work on and get that up here I have a lot of glass so I am going to do that I want to get that back basically get over jump over that <clears throat> I'm gonna get some more bricks made up here not bricks cobblestone I'm out of clay in my inventory but that's fine so all right I gotta go and do that on this side and all right now <clears throat> if I am not mistaken which I did quite a lot of reading and stuff I've made greenhouses before I just have not made them in any particular style or design <clears throat> and I wanted to try something this season a little bit more um, well, a little bit different than just a flat a 
flat roof. So. We have that and we have that. And I believe you can use slabs. And the sides do not have to be glass. <clears throat> you can have a, <clears throat> I believe, you can have a square box of pretty much anything on the walls. But the roof has to be 50% glass. So I'm going to put that in there. Now this, yeah, okay, see, that symbol means it's a greenhouse. And because it's a greenhouse, that gives you a plus five degree increase in heat for the crops. So I forgot a couple things that I have to grab out of here. And that is the terra preta that we have so far. I have this high fertility soil that I plan on turning into terra preta. I've just got to do the resources for that. I also need a bucket. <clears throat> I want to try to do at least two. We have this here, but I'll go into that later. But yeah, because this is going to be farmhouse, and time, um, I forgot what I was going to say. But yeah, so I decided to put the farms here. Because this area is going to be a farmhouse in time. I'm trying to keep the ice broken here. So that uh, the nearby, the surrounding farmland can get hydrated. And <clears throat> not dry out. It's winter time, so this is probably a pointless thing to do to break the ice. <laughs> but, that's what I want to do. I want to try to keep on top of the farmland and stuff. So, there's one greenhouse. And Terra Preta. going to make a full ring around there. Not that one. And there. So, Now, outside temperature is 2 degrees, so it would be 7 degrees inside here because of the greenhouse. Now the greenhouse is made. 
That's one. Forty. <clears throat> I don't know if we're gonna have quite enough. Forty-seven. Gives us eight. It gives us five. <clears throat> I don't have quite enough for this one. quite enough for that either but there is something I wanted to do which I brought exactly four pieces of dirt or for, uh, not pieces of dirt exactly four pieces of the stone that I want to use for under this under the doors need to go grab much some more clay so we're gonna do that let's grab that I have I still have a little bit of clay so that is not a bad thing I'm gonna to have to make another iron axe probably really soon stone I don't I have <clears throat> these on me because I figure while I'm out and about if I see some animals that I want to catch uh, ie rabbits that I can catch them so yeah I don't have any charcoal I need to make some more charcoal like very soon because I've got a lot of stuff I want to do with charcoal so let's get this made I have no idea what that freaking sound is I think if I do this, I can do There we go. Plain glass slabs.
so there's that. <clears throat> So that is and like that. <clears throat> So that is good enough. Put that back up. And I'm going to have to make some more glass, which is fine. I can do that. That is not a big deal. That's how I did that. All right, that is good. Mm, that is not good. That means now I have to run all the way back around. this does mean that I should now have two working greenhouses yep and of course they need to lit up the pathway needs to be done and things like that and in a few days in game I should be able to start planting some crops. <clears throat> so let's see what we have temperature wise. Okay, cold resistant until negative 5. I could plant flax in there, but I'm not going to. Because I have that big field for flax. Parsnip, cold resistant until negative 10. So I could plant some of those. Onion, cold resistant until negative 1. Rye seeds, cold resistant until negative 12. Negative 5. Negative five, negative five. I could plant some soybeans. I want to plant some soybeans. So I could plant some of those in the first greenhouse. Parsnips are okay to plant outside right now. Onions, I have more onions. That's fine. Rice, cold resistant until eight degrees Celsius. I need to wait a little bit to plant rice. Carrots I could plant. <clears throat> Spelt I could probably plant. I can't plant the amaranth right now. Turnips. Peanuts, I want to plant some peanuts. Cabbage, I want to plant that as soon as I can. <clears throat> I want to plant those pretty soon here. A pumpkin. I got a lot of pumpkin seeds. I want to start planting some of those. Pineapples, I've got to wait a little bit. Cassava, I've got to wait a little bit. And I've got all my saplings that I've been collecting while I've been out and about. I want to get the false orange, the peaches, and a lot of the cherries planted over in that direction. Where the other... Um, <clears throat> But the other cherry saplings are growing. I want to start. This is going to be a farm slash orchard. And I have a good idea about that. How I'm going to go about doing that. So. I'm going to work on the greenhouses. Between episodes. Get those put in. I have more compost going. I'll probably have to crush up some more bones. Holy cow, there's a lot of drifters and grumblers out there. <clears throat> so, until the next episode, guys. I know this one is kind of a short one. I just wanted to get one done and get it out there. We'll go into this when it becomes relevant. Uh, I made them just a while back. Oh. 
Excuse me, I had to yawn. Came out of nowhere. But yeah, I made the fruit presses. And I seal I made and sealed some juice. So I wanted to get a jump on getting a little bit of vinegar. But I'm also going to have to move all of this stuff over into there. I've got basically a lot of work to get done. I still have to finish the bakery uh, roof. That's not a big deal. I have the stuff for that. I just have to basically get it done. So, yeah, still a lot of work to do on the world. And I haven't even started on some of the big projects like the castle that I want to get into in this world. So, if you are interested in a world download, join my Discord channel, community, you know, Discord community server. And let me know there. And yeah. So, until the next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed basically seeing where the greenhouse is going to go and hearing the plans for what this area Oh, another yawn. Jeez. I'm coming out of nowhere. So, yep, yeah, this area is going to turn into a farm, farmland slash orchard. I'm going to extend out one more room. And you will see why when I get to it. So, yeah. The farmhouse is going to come out here. I might even extend it to an L shape here I don't know yet if I do I'll have to move these which is fine uh, as with a lot of things in this world it's temporary until I build an actual place for it so yeah the orchard is gonna go out this way I've got to build some more land out <clears throat> I've got to finish filling in the clay pit hole which I have worked on and this hole and before we go, let's go and take a quick visit to Rigby. See if Rigby has traded, changed up his stuff any. He needs a low Peridot for 10 gears. That is good. He had, oh, he has a chandelier, 19 gears. Oh, I really want to get that, but... Treasure chests, Peridot. And I discovered a couple more hollow trees. I discovered one here and one over on the other side of the castle. So there's that. Let's go and see if there's another trader. Okay, the other birch tree, or the birch tree grew. Yeah, we knew about that. I tapped it. I have the horse here. I have another draft mare here. Lots of stuff going on. Oh, we have treasure hunter. Got anything to trade? Ten bronze fox for three gears. That's fine. Rye and flax bread. Tin bronze tools, a gear, some paintings, I don't think I have that one, but. okay you want a tin bronze falx, which we can do that. Give us three more gears. Yeah, we don't have a trader coming here for another day. <clears throat> so, that is good. Let's grab the rough paradox. 
and we'll go back and trade that to Rigby. So this is basically what I do for traders. Ooh, Kapok. That's grown. We need to get up there and get the leaves so I can get some more seeds for that. So, <clears throat> that is another wood type that we can use to build with. And I got an ebony seed from one of the hollow trees. As well, I think I got it from that one. So speaking of tree hollows, I'm going to go and show you real quick where the other one is. We have one in the village. But that K-Pock is really cool. <clears throat> Okay, there's a tree here. Yep, right here. This one's empty. But there's a maple tree hollow there. And then there's one, if you remember, right by the village. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's a ram over there. There's a ram there. Hopefully we don't get over here and get wolves. And there's a hollow tree here that's also empty. So, oh. Ah, oh, we got it. And took quite a beating. From it as well. Is that a living pig? Yes, okay. We need to get pigs as well pretty soon. So, I should have probably left the bear alive, but I try to kill them every time I see them because um, I don't want them basically just, just tearing through and destroying all the other animals in the area and it was headed this way so I can do that that And that and get us some chicken or well some uh, it'll show up as fowl I believe poultry yeah poultry is fowl so that's fine it is more fresh meat Protein is protein is protein. They're all low weight, which is fine. How about you, Mr. Ram? Yeah, you're low weight. So, there's that. We have some more meat. And I am going to put this down here, past the draft stallion. We have a bunch of grain there. We have eggs here. These are 10% spoiled. They need to be used up very soon or I can basically just let them stay in here and rot. So that's good, that's good. We've got stuff in here which is fine. We have some bread in here. I'm gonna take some of that. eat some of our bread that we made. So, there we go. That is the immediate plan. So, like I said, if you're having fun, leave a like, comment down in the description box below. Subscribe if you're brand new. And hopefully, I will see you in the next episode. 
So until then, guys, stay magical, stay warm, stay safe, and I will see you then. Bye.